official senior day in Lawrence Kansas. It's the end of the home career of Kansas two stars Nick Collison hugging his father Dave and Kirk Heinrich who also played for his father Jim and indeed thanks for the memories at Kansas. Welcome to NCAA basketball presented by UBS Payne Weber. We're at the historic Allen Fieldhouse in Lawrence, Kansas. It's number seven, Kansas, plays host to number 17, Oklahoma State. The Big 12 standings and the top five and perhaps as deep at six will all make the NCAA tournament this year. Good afternoon and welcome everybody. Along with Dick Vitale, I'm Brent Musburger. Let's get to one subject right away. Is Dickie V going to the prom? <laughs> What's with the bow tie, my friend? Well, hey, Brent, this is for Jim Phelan. 49 years at Mount St. Mary's. Always wore a bow tie. So today, many of the coaches across America are wearing a bow tie for Jimmy. Jimmy, thanks for all the great, great memories, man. He's done a phenomenal job over 800 wins. Right now, let's check in on the Toyota starting lineups. And of course, there is a story regarding Kansas. Their star, Wayne Simeon, has been lost for the season. He will be very difficult to replace. And for Oklahoma State, you can see that they will play that tough defense, try to keep this game. Dickie V down in the 70s. Roy Williams himself wearing a bow tie today. He'd like to have it played in the 80s or the 90s today. Hey, Roy looks stylish out there. All GQ. I'll tell you this, though. Bottom line is for Oklahoma State, they have to keep that score down. They are an outstanding defensive team, second in the conference, allowing 61 points a game. That's a trademark of any side. One of the great settings in all of college basketball. And one of the best referees at Hightower is the lead man, Heinrich, for the first two. Put back, not there. Saved by the Cowboys. And they'll bring it down now with their first set. What should we look for here, Dickie B? Well, you know, offensively, Victor Williams certainly a key. Sanders and Allen can shoot the three. Bottom line is Kansas, tough defensive team. Aaron Miles, great matchup. Miles right now on Williams. That's Victor Williams for the Cowboys who was handling the ball. Andre Williams, a great shot blocker on the inside. And one. So very good penetrating move by Tony Allen that time. Tony Allen, one of the impact junior college players in America from out of your area, Windy City of Chicago. Take a look at Eddie Sutton. I really believe he belongs in the Hall of Fame. What he has done as a coach, you look at his long-term resume, he is a Hall of Famer. The guy's a great teacher, and he gets maximum out of his people. So Heinrich will set the table. Goes back to his running back, Collison. He's inside the arc on that miss. Miles gets it back, though, for the Jayhawks. I think Heinrich and Collison, to me, are the best tandem in America. One-two punch. Sato and West are outstanding. Down to Xavier, they are on fire as well. Heinrich's going to fire the three ball. He can shoot it, Brent. He's quick. He's got range. Heinrich's just a consummate player. I thought Roy Williams today, but you and I almost was in tears talking about how really special it's been to coach these two kids. Just outstanding young men, Roy pointed out. And he said, as a matter of fact, you could leave your grandchildren with them for a week and you would know that they would be in great hands. And he said, I can't say anything more about an individual than that. And they both can play. That doesn't hurt either. <laughs> <laughs> Not if you're the coach. Rejection. Jayhawks ball and a foul is called against Melvin Sanders. Allison with the block shot. You think about his career, amazing numbers. He and Danny Manning, as you're going to watch him rotate over. There's the help. There's the angle. There's the block shot. I mean, unbelievable numbers he's achieved. 1,000 points, 1,000 rebounds, 200 block shots. Only he and Manning have done that here at Kansas. Foul against Williams. Down on the low block. Dick, I think we're seeing some of this tough hand-to-hand -to -hand defensive combat that Oklahoma State features here early. And that's a trademark of Eddie Sutton. He really attacks people defensively. Look at Collison inside. See, a lot of attention is going to go to Collison on the interior. And the reason is obviously, as you mentioned earlier, Brent, they're going to miss Wayne Simeon. I mean, he was dominant down there in that low box. 
So Graves has to pick up the scoring, Dick, and I suppose as we watch him at the free throw line right now, that that would be a big question concerning the Jayhawks' tournament future. How many points can Graves put up now? Well, see, Graves gives him a more inside player to win it. One great asset of Simeon, he could step away and therefore give some separation down here on a box for Collison. But it hurts their rotation in terms of depth. They're not a deep basketball team. Goes over. Good defense right there. Oklahoma State struggling a little bit after winning 15 games in a row. You know, one of the things we should say about Oklahoma State, I went back, I looked at your uh, article on ESPN, the magazine preseason, looked at Sports Illustrated, looked at the Sporting News. No one thought that Oklahoma State would be this good this season. Because Eddie Sutton is such a great college basketball coach, we overlooked the fact that this team has come from nowhere this year. That's why he'd be my choice as coach of the year in the Big 12. But I know somebody that thought he'd do it. His mother, Burl, is watching us right now. She's 93 years of age. My God, she's watching of Bucklin, Kansas. She never misses a game. And uh, Eddie's on TV. And we send along our best wishes. There was great D by the Cowboys right there. They control tempo really well. Lost a tough game to Bobby Knight in their last game. Knight's kids play brilliantly in the second half. You know, Dick, what's been equally impressive, and you pointed out this Kansas defense looking for transition baskets. Roy said he had to have some here today against Oklahoma State. He wanted to get down the floor and attack before Oklahoma State to get into its half-court defense. They just failed to, to make the field goal. The pass was a bit too long. Yeah, they want to beat them with numbers. They want to get in transition. They don't want to play a five-on-five five half-court game. Their game is to get up and down the floor, utilize their quickness, get Langford out in transition. Got to the low block. Can they do anything with it? And at that time, Heinrich down with the rebound. Sanders, great defensive player. Everybody raves about him defensively. One of the premier defensive stoppers in America. He's playing Heinrich. Hands all over the ball. Tough team defense. Trademarks of a Sutton coach team. And here comes Williams. They're not gonna get open He's fouled by Miles. You know, Williams started his career at Illinois State, played for Kevin Stallings, now at Vanderbilt, former assistant from out of Kansas. I should take a look at the two coaches. Look at those resumes. Incredible numbers. Unbelievable. When you think of Roy Williams, he's averaged about 27 wins a year since coming from North Carolina. The three, and it's on the money for Victor Williams out of Kansas City. Yeah, Victor was freshman of the year when he played at Illinois State. And has been turned over. So here was Heinrich down at the corner. Victor Williams averaging 15.5 a game. There he is, the little guy, passing the ball really well, shooting 40% from the trifecta, 79% from the free throw line. Comes in this game with 1,166 points. Very quick. Miles matched up with him. Good matchup. Traveling. Little travel court right there, but I'll tell you, tempo right now is the way Eddie Sutton wants the game to be played. It's being played at his tempo, half court. Well, we've had only 11 points scored here. And, uh, three and a half minutes knocked off in this game. Miles will bring it down for Kansas. The, if you take a look at senior day, Dick, which I did on the notes, the Jayhawks have been lethal here on senior day. They've won 19 straight senior day games. Big mountain for the Cowboys, but they're doing a good job. Early. This should be easy for Graves and one. Graves hanging around the basket. And he suddenly wants a push off to be called. But Graves hanging around, gets the offensive rebound. Hey, senior day, so emotional. It's such a special setting. Rock Chalk, Jayhawk, take a look at that. Graves, look what I found. Look what I found. And there's the contact. I'll tell you, Eddie says, why me? Why do I got to be part of senior day? I should take a look at the win streaks. Look at it. Unbelievable. But they beat everybody mostly anyway. I mean, their record here at home is just incredible. I think that was the second foul on Andre Williams. And that's big. He fouled out with three minutes to go in their last loss in that game they lost to Bobby Knight in Texas Tech. From the perimeter, the field goal by Sanders. Okay, he can shoot the three. Great high jumper, too. Look at this record at home. Are you kidding me? Look at that record. 200 Ws. The 
doubling up. They are doubling up. Cut back outside to Miles, who missed on the shots. A fine defense by Oklahoma State. Heinrich with the long three ball. Battle for the rebound. Did the uh, bodies go flying? Graves very active, but it was knocked out by uh, Oklahoma State, apparently. You know, one of, one of the philosophies of Eddie Sutton is they're going to allow Miles to shoot the ball. Oh, we got our first timeout. We're deadlocked. It's the Big 12. Well, Eddie Sutton's game has always been defense, and his offense has struggled at times this year, but the defense has been tremendous. They're allowing 62.1 points a game. That's second best in the Big 12 behind Oklahoma's 60.3. Now, he is missing a very valuable assistant coach today. His son, Sean Sutton, whom I'm sure is watching, is not feeling well, and we hope that he has a quick recovery. And uh, his father really depends on him during the game and for a lot of other things. He's one of the outstanding young assistant coaches in the country, and someday, of course, he will head up his own program. There's that Oklahoma State D again. Knocked out of bounds as Kansas comes right back. You know, you talk about Sean Sutton. He's got certainly a, a opportunity. He will be a head coach somewhere and be very successful. And Eddie knows a lot about it. He's had 13 guys go on to head jobs, including guys like Gene Cady. Yeah, he has South. really turned out a lot of coaches, hasn't he, Dick? Yeah, he really does a great job teaching. And you want his kind of people to learn how to play. Now uh, up over the back on Tony Allen. You know, they went out and won 15 in a row after losing to the College of Charleston up in the Great Alaska Shootout. Then finally were beaten by Texas. And I think what happened after that win streak, everybody plays them at another level. But I think as soon as you hear the name Eddie Sutton, you've got to respect that competition. He's had six consecutive years, 20 more wins. Well, Kansas is only two of 10 from the field against this Oklahoma State defense. And they have turned it over three times just to illustrate the point that we're talking about here. And they don't get open shots. Everybody's challenged. They give a lot of help. See, there's the help again. Nothing is coming easy against the Cowboys right now. Heinrich's going to earn every deuce he gets today. The putback is not there. Collison couldn't tap it in. And finally, Oklahoma State comes away. Really, when you watch the Cowboys, the only thing they lack is really a, a, a big man, a big country, if you will, down that low block. Yeah, big country back in 1995. Took him to the Final Four. Hands Oklahoma. He's out fishing right now, not playing anymore. You don't think he's watching the game? Yeah, he's probably watching the country. Oh, sure I walked with him on the streets. His first in his unbelievable debut in New York City. I was in the NIT. Right? NIT. Yes, you see his eyes when he saw those big buildings. Williams travel. Turnover by Oklahoma State. Roy Williams has great respect for Eddie Sutton. Told us before the game. Take a look at his defense now. Oh, right in your face. Look at his hustle. Denial. Close. I mean, you can put a clinic on right here. Beat the guy in the basket. We'll give help. Look at the help. Stepping in. Closing off. Driving angles. He had a very interesting shot of Roy. Langford is fouled. Frequently. At the other end, you had a very interesting shot on uh, of Roy Williams. When he was trying to tell the officials that there was elbows flying and pushing, what you want to do against Oklahoma State is get on the free throw line as frequently as you can, get the whistles to start to build up against them because they're such a tough, tenacious defensive team. As I watch them, this is the first time I've seen Oklahoma State in person. And, and folks, they come at you with fingernails. I mean, this is a tough bunch of rascals out there. No question. Like Gallagher, Gallagher Iba down here, those fans, one of the great environments in basketball, really get after it. They play at such a level. That's why it's surprising to see them lose a few games recently at home. Gets it. This is Graves. Been powerful. Down low. Gets that rebound down. Here comes Miles. He's cut off. Pushed out of bounds. See, I think really early in this game, Langford and Miles are going to have to start making some shots. They're putting so much attention on Heinrich and on Collison that those two guys are going to have to step up offensively and give them some point production. Well, we've got that low-scoring game, don't we? That is exactly what Eddie Sutton wants. He wants this kind of tempo. And this uh, foul is called against Kansas before the ball was even in battle. Well, coming up next now, Tiger Woods is still in the hunt. Wow. And see if he's able to make it through the semifinals of the World Golf Championships. Accenture Match Play Championship. Tiger did advance five and four earlier over Scott Hope. So that's next right here on ABC. He's the 3S man, super scintillating sensation. Here it is now, patience again offensively. Traveling. Yeah, he lifted that pivot foot. 
It's anything to do offensively. He's got to have watch this right here now. They they work on triple threat position. Great ball fake. Look at that fake right there. Oh, what a fake he laid on him. Nice little pass. Rotation. Both clubs so well coached, drilled in every facet of the game. And the one thing these teams understand, which is so important, Brent, to win, is shot selection. So many teams that have talent don't understand what a good shot is. These clubs do. So only even money that Roy Williams keeps the bow tie on. He has a regular <laughs> tie back in his office, and he said, if we don't play well in the first half, I'm taking it off. I'm taking it off because Jim nice Payne understand. Collison should have come right back up with it, but he is on the free throw line. He didn't come fast enough. It was a heck of a pass. Yeah, they reversed the basketball quickly, and he should have attacked the goal a little quicker, but he was anticipating the help. Not every comes off the end. He's wide open. See, wide open down here. Touches the ball. Tries to square his body. He tried. Think I, there was no reason there, I didn't think, to put the ball on the floor. Just simply attack on the pass. And that the third foul on Williams. And so Eddie will have to make a move. Yeah, that is big right now. Losing a shot blocker, an outstanding rebounder. A lot of frustration right there. Andrea, outstanding shot blocker. 200 in his career coming into this game. 71 for the season. That's a big break for Nick Collison, and that's a big break for Kansas. Keep an eye on that now. See, I think that Collison now starts to become effective with Williams on that sideline. Miller handling the ball. He's off the Cowboy bench. Yeah, he gives him a big body on the inside. Strong, active player. See, patience, patience. Taking time off that clock. Looking for the high percentage shot. It's tough for the Cowboys to find that good shot. They don't have that go-to shooter, really, do they? Here's Allen coming up with a little J off the glass. And sweet. I tell you, they got a lot of balance offensively. Four guys that score, and Allen is one of them. Nice play by McFarland on the interception. Ivan McFarland out of Missouri City, Texas. And back comes Williams at the other end with that miss. And Graves is fouled on the rebound. You know, McFarland's got a lot of ability. He's had some great, great games. He's just got to be a little bit more consistent for them. Last year, they got beaten in the NCAA first round by Kent State and went on that run to get to the Elite Eight. And I really mean this guy belongs in the Hall of Fame. He's taken four schools to the NCAA tournament. Started at Creighton, then he went to Arkansas, where he became a close friend of the president, Mr. Clinton. What did he tell us today? He was at the White House. introduced him to basketball when uh, former President Bill Clinton yeah, was a law professor down at uh, school. And he said, I taught him all he knew about yeah. basketball. Yeah, and he also said he was invited to the White House four times. He stayed at the White House. That's the most visits by any man who did not give the president big bucks. <laughs> he said, he didn't give any cash, any cash at all. <laughs> I didn't see your name on that list. No, sir. Patsy on hold. He was here, son, coach tonight. He's the head coach at Oral Roberts, one of the Sutton youngsters. I tell you, the Big 12 this year, Brent, has been absolutely Are they the best conference in the country, uh, or is the SEC? You know, you can make an argument. It's like Willie Mays or Mickey Mantle. You can battle all day long, but they're two. There's no doubt the two best. I mean, just brilliant all year long. You got Texas and Oklahoma, Texas Tech. Collison muscling in one. See, and then I tell you, with Andre Williams on his side, Mr. Musburger, they're going to bring the ball inside to the All-American. Nick Collison knows how to utilize his body. There he is in the post. Spreads real wide. Miller's going to have his hands full. Now he spins to the lane. Great drop step. Lays it on a goal and scores. I tell you, they've had some outstanding big players here. Ray Flynn, yeah, and now it's 19, uh, 1,900 points. And very unselfish player. And that's what you love about Heinrich and about Collison. They play for the jersey, man, on the front. They play for that name, Kansas. So we've got a timeout, and you're watching ABC Sports Championship Television. John and Digger, and of course we'll hear from them at halftime. And uh, here in a low-scoring game, and let's go back in time with the star Nick Collison growing up in Iowa. 
later would go on and uh, play for his father, Dave, in high school, and uh, now he has become one of the legends of uh, Kansas basketball. 1,900 points, 1,000 rebounds, 200 blocks. You know, uh, only Danny Manning, who's been here, can, uh, can claim that. 1,900 points, 1,000 rebounds, and 200 blocks in his fabulous career. That's a pretty good career on any level. I don't care where you play. Look at those numbers, and that's in the tough. Actually, there's his little brother who's very proud of him. He talks about him all the time. So, man, I got a special brother, and he does. There's no doubt about it. He's one of the great, great kids. What did Roy tell us? He said they gave him the spirit. It was a time there. He was starting to get a little down in a college game because of some of the things happening in the world of recruiting. He said, but I look at Nick, and I looked at certainly at Kurt, and I knew that I made the wise decision to coach and stay in college. There's a block on Williams. Lankford at the other end, left hand, and his shot is rejected. Blocks at both ends, and the Cowboys come away. I'll tell you, Sanders a great block, shot blocker, a high jumper, 7-4. And that's what Oklahoma State cannot do. See, they had a wide-open little jump shot there. Back at the other end is Lankford driving in. You're right, Brent. They can't run up and down the floor and play in the transition game. That favors the rock draw Jayhawk style. Remember Joe Holiday does an outstanding job as an assistant. They shot the ball too quickly offensively. See, there's the block shot, and they score. They convert off the block shot, kick it out. There's Langford. See, they want to go up and down. They want to utilize Langford in transition, Miles in transition. Hey, Sutton's clubs normally just don't shoot the ball that quickly. They're a little more patient. Think about NCAA tournament appearances. Bobby Knight, 25, and Andy Sutton of the active coaches next for 22. Tied with Lute Olsen. And our buddy Jimmy Bayheim with 21. Allen bump into the baseline. He's a score. That was a fine one on one offensive play there by Allen as he got over to the baseline. Allen, so far in the early going, appears to be, it just appears to be, the best of Eddie's scores here today, but we'll see. So he's got good offensive ability. Started the season really on fire. As you look at their resume, schedule strength, I see the RPI's got him as high as nine. They don't know what the BBVI's got him yet, though. The Vital Ball Dome Index. Key wins Oklahoma and Texas. Lost the College of Charleston, lost the Baylor. College of Charleston won the Great Alaska Shootout. They started the season beat Wyoming. Beat Oklahoma State, beat Villanova, coached by Tommy Harrigan in his first year as a head coach. That's a heck of an achievement for a school, College of Charleston, to go to the Great Alaska Shootout and walk away with that title when you got teams like Villanova there, Oklahoma State, Michigan State there. Indeed, now we take a look at Kansas. Dick, what interests me is the RPI is only 14. Why is Kansas downgraded in that index? Well, you know, they look at the losses, obviously, and I think losses play a big part of that. And also when they study the schedule strength of people you play, it's, the RPI is a very confusing as you look at Collison getting a rest right there. I think the bot bottom line is the RPI is a situation where they utilize as a criteria the committee to get an idea, but that's not the sole criteria of determining where you rank or where you see study schedule strength of the people you play, how they do. Yeah, he shot his block that time, and Graves with a weak outlet pass and back on the road. And the foul is going to be called, and now wait a minute, a traveling call by Hightower. And he uh, the following official came over and overruled the original call. We'll take a look at the play right here. There seems to be a little trip right there on the perimeter. And it is the contact. They want to charge the offensive foul. What the violation took precedent. Nice move. He's got the up and under move. He's got range as a shooter. As a tandem, my friends. They don't come any better than Mr. Heinrich and Mr. Collison. And they love him here in Rock Chalk J.R. Brown. One of the special environments in college basketball. Halfway through the first half, and watch Heinrich. He'll dip inside the defender and pull the trigger. He'll play at the next level, Brent. He and Collison because they can make shots. Oh, and look at this. Let's go back in time with Kirk Heinrich out of Sioux City. And what a great, great career. He's always been able to shoot the basketball even when he was a youngster. And he was coached by his father, Jim, from the third grade all the way through high school. Heinrich, by the way, is a, is a good golfer, likes to play. And if you ask him who his favorite player is in the NBA, he might tell you Gary Payton. Who is now with wow, the, uh, he likes
Well, Dick, this week's ESPN's Big Monday is presented by Bud Light and highlighted by a couple of great games. Dickie B, where will you be? I will be at the Kansas, Texas Tech in Lubbock. Dan Schulman and I will be there for a lot of fun. Seeing Andre Emmett, what a player. He had a monster game against Oklahoma State. He scored 30. He and Powell were sensational. Isn't Emmett half. the leading scorer in a Big 12? Yeah, he, he can score, man. He can flat out score. He'll be on your all conference team. Oh, no doubt about it. He's just got to do it the general's way. Listen, and the unbelievable sky's unlimited where he can go as a player. Tapped out of bounds. Heinrich got to it beautifully over there defensively. So let's take a break with Kansas leading 23 15, seven and a half minutes left in the first half. And here, Kansas leads Oklahoma State 23 to 15. Well, this would be Dickie V's all Big 12 picks, folks, and you can't argue with any of those players. I'll tell you one thing, it's almost like an All-American team there. When you look at the name T.J. Ford, it would be my choice as player of the year. See, that's what they want to do, man. They want to fill the lane, run the court. you got to make your shots count down on the other side, and you're going to take time off the clock. You're not going to beat them up and down the floor. I one of the great games this year against Texas here. Only three players have scored for Oklahoma State. They now have more turnovers than field goals made in the game. Nine turnovers and six field goals. So Oklahoma State having trouble handling the ball. Last break basketball has been the key. They fill those lanes. They like to get out and get numbers. Big loss when Andre Williams went out. That's like Collison inside. And he's fouled. Collison got bumped on that play. You're going to see them as they fill the lanes. Now watch them as they run and fill the lanes. Right here. Freezing. Right here. He's going to get the lane. He's got the wide lane going right to the goal for the lane. There's the bounce pass. I didn't take it a step. What do you like about a kid like Collison? They come to play every day, never give you a problem. They're so coachable. You see the coaching staff stand up. Steve Robinson, formerly of Florida State. Ben Miller. Ed Miller, by the way, his dad was Elton Miller. He used to coach at Ohio State, Western Michigan. He used to beat me all the time at Western Michigan. Lee on a follow. Did a good job of tracking it down, Langford. Langford, very, very good wing player. Oh, it's a good oh, jump shot on the left baseline. Kansas has dominated the glass deck. They're out rebounding up on the state by 22 to 12. And it's also leading to them getting out in transition. See, now the danger for Eddie Sutton, they're going to play catch-up basketball. I mean, you've got to shoot the ball quickly. And that plays into the style of Kansas. So it took a while here in the first half. But uh, over the last five minutes, Kansas has absolutely dominated the game. I'd get it inside the Collison. They can't handle him on the interior. Now let's see if Allen can finish. Nice play by Al. Allen's been impressive here in the first half. He was out of junior college. He's one of the impact junior college players in America. Well, he has nine of their 17 points here in the first half. Missouri's got a great impact junior college player. And Clemens had a great game as they beat Oklahoma. Oh! Now let's see if the Cowboys can put together field goals. Point lead. They got to shoot the ball quicker, and that's exactly what Kansas wants. Lee foul. Now there is Roy Williams' fine coaching staff over there, Dick, and uh, Steve two years. Uh, what, a, what a wonderful job Roy Williams has done here in Kansas. Joe Holliday on his staff as well. Steve Robinson was the former head coach. There he is standing behind Roy at Florida State with Leonard Hamilton. Trust me when I tell you this. Leonard Hamilton in three years will have Florida State in the first division of the ACC. Interesting. Yes, right. sir. He's, he's doing did a great job down in Miami for sure. He did a great job at Oklahoma State right. before Eddie Sutton took over. He set the tone for that program. Clarification. I'll tell you one thing, a little bit of a, because the game is so early, the crowd is a little subdued as well at the 12 noon start. I think normally it's a lot livelier in here. Yeah, this is not what you would call your uh, basic Budweiser game, is it? <laughs> Look at Eddie Hightower. He's a superintendent of schools. People don't realize some of the things these referees do. Like the other day, I had Mr. Maxwell. He said he did two surgeries in the morning, and he's blowing a whistle at night in a Duke game with Georgia Tech. 
must be funny for a patient laying in a hospital room sitting. Hey, that's my doctor. He operated on me this morning. I like Roy with that look. I tell you, I like Roy. Roy likes that look. Let's play. Look at that. Come on, guys. Let's play. I sent a guy in. He went in for the wrong guy. And I said, you're in for the Two wrong coaches going to huddle up. I don't know what the controversy is. Do you? I can't figure it out from here. I think it was over a substitution. I think, uh, whether or not it was legal to send somebody in. Let's play, guys. Let's move the game along. He replaced the wrong player. They tried to uh, change the substitution the tour by the, uh, the scorers. And, uh, so we've got that straight. St. James is doing a great job defensively, challenging every shot, rotating over. It's Roy with that Jimmy Fallon look today. Coaches all over. It's bow tie day in honor of Jim Fallon. 49 years at Mount St. Mary's with 829 wins. 11 blocked shots in this game so far. Six for Kansas. It says, thou shalt not enter thy lane. I think of Eddie Sutton at Creighton. He takes them to the NCAA tournament. He takes Arkansas to the NCAA tournament. He takes Kentucky. He takes Oklahoma State. One of four coaches to do that. The others, Lefty Drizel, Jim Herrick, and also Rick Pitino. Got a lot of whistles here in the first half, folks. Sort of a herky-jerky basketball game. That's three on McFarland. Williams had to leave because he picked up three. That was Andre Williams, their, their 6 8 forward out of Kansas City, who picked up the three. And big discrepancy right now at that free throw line. Oklahoma State is one of two. And right now, Kansas is nine of 16. So Kansas has shot 16 free throws, and Oklahoma State only two. So one of the reasons for that as well is the way they bring the ball to the inside. With the presence of a guy like Collison, you're going to go to the foul line a lot more. You know, I jumped the gun on Patino. He's going to do it. He's going to have to have Louisville this year in the NCAA tournament, so he will be one of only four coaches. What about the Jimmy Herrick controversy? That's unbelievable, some of those charges and things we're hearing about that. That story that broke on ESPN. Nicely. Done there by Melvin Sanders using the glass. Sanders, very good after we talk about his high jumping ability. A turnover by the Jayhawks. Well, they got a chance now to cut this lead and get back to this game. James Dickey on the staff for Eddie Sutton, coached up Texas Tech. You know, Stain, the uh, South African rugby player, is back. He's on that high post number four. He's a, he's a big body, and of course, the rugby is a one of the great sports down in South Africa. Ernie Ells used to play a little. Williams pulls the trigger on the inside, and now suddenly we've got an eight-point game again. Nice patience. Williams, the guy that you want to shoot the ball and attacks the basket well. There's a heck of a player at Illinois State. Left because Kevin Stallings left. Nice defense. Now, look at this going on here. And Allen is uh, fouled as he attempted to... Uh, to run it out, and Roy cannot be very pleased with what's happened here in the last minute and a half. No, they had a chance to blow this lead open big time. As you look right here, there's the dump down inside. Good recognition, trying to, good defense, though. Recognizing defensively, covering people, doing a phenomenal job. Roy had a chance right there. He said, hey, we're up 11, going a little spurt. Instead, now Oklahoma State's turned that around. It's 29-22 is the result of Allen's free throw. Allen has led the way with 10 points. He has 10 of the 22 for the Cowboys. I'll tell you, very quiet in here. Very quiet. She's just so loud. So unbelievably rocking. I think people are still not up. It's brunch time, man. It's brunch time down here in Florence. Dickie V, not everybody wakes up like you. Up, up, up. up. <laughs> That's the high post screen. Uh, how did he walk? Traveled and it goes over now. And uh, fine run here by uh, Eddie Sutton's Cowboys. Nice run. The defense setting the tone. Oklahoma State falling back. Now only down six. Eddie Sutton's got to like this little turnaround right here. Dictated by their defense. Patience and poise are offensively very important. Oklahoma State. 
Williams is sealed up on this. He tried to penetrate with the dribble. Now Stain was able to muscle it over. And the field goal is made by Allen again. What a great job of reversing the basketball, making the extra pass. This could be a 10-0 run if he could finish. Oh, is he quick? Not there, no follow. Tap and save over in the corner for the Cowboys. And they just cannot convert the field goal. McFarland, with a great play, just couldn't score coming down the baseline. Should have had the layup there, though. Should have had that layup and that score. Would have brought it down to a deuce. Had an opportunity. Good defense. Oh, great yeah. nice Hollis, and at the other end, snaps the run. And that's what you want out of your stars. He's a PT peer. They know they got to go to him. And he breaks the momentum by getting a little isolation for a one-on-one -on -one maneuver. Hollis in with that good isolation, that one-on-one maneuver to get that score. Well, that was a big turnover round after that miss, wasn't it? That's a four-point turnaround. Absolutely. I mean, you got the layup on the other end. You're a two-point game. That was a four-point turnaround. Now the Cowboys forced to play half-court offense. And the shot clock down towards six. Allen penetrates. No shot. No shot. But a foul is called, so we've got free throws for the Cowboys. I'm going to tell you, Brad, I think the big guy stayed, who has limited basketball experience, very young player, if he stays and listens to the tutelage of that coaching staff in Oklahoma State, he's going to be a very good player. Well, look at what they did with big country. Exactly. You know, they took a took a big fellow like that and turned him into a, to an NBA player who left because of an injury. And, uh, Anybody who played rugby, Dick, uh, he can probably move. He's probably got decent footwork. Oh, I was watching his. I was watching his speed running up and down the court, very quick. See, Kansas now really doesn't have a very deep bench, and certainly the loss of Simeon. He was such a special player inside, could step out, gave him point productivity after losing. Good in, hey, what about good in the job he's doing right now with the match? It's incredible. Well, it's like a double overtime loss, and uh, he had 18 rebounds last night against the Knicks. 20 points as well. Well, that's the uh, the missed opportunity for the Cowboys. It could have been a two-point game. Instead, now it is back to six. Jayhawks lead it. Well, Kansas is right up there with the UCLA's and the North Carolinas and the Dukes as far as a basketball school is concerned. And uh, Fog Allen, one of the legendary coaches who put the uh, put the show on the road. Isn't that a handsome statue of him? And speaking of shows, look at Roy work on his players, not a happy camper. He's an intense competitor. They love him because he's such an intense competitor, a teacher, a motivator, made out of the same mold of some of the greats that are out there, Hall of Famers like Mike Krzyzewski and John Chaney and certainly the General Robert Montgomery Knight. They really demand excellence, and they want nothing but they play for perfection as much as possible. They want their players to play within that team concept. He's upset that they let that lead slide out. Then once they were up 29-17 at the 550 mark in this game, as Heinrich takes it back outside, misses. And now Cowboys with another opportunity, and Heinrich got a hand on the ball, picked up for the baseline, and back to Heinrich on the air ball. That shot right there, not the kind of shot they like at Oklahoma State. Look at that block shot. Another block shot. Lead and easy, and Sanders puts it away. I tell you, he can run, he can jump up, up and away, a 7-4 high jumper. Their defense created that opportunity. And there's a reason they were 17-1. They were 17-1. They've got great wins over BYU, Michigan State, Fresno State. Allison on a fadeaway baseline shot. Here come the Cowboys again. Alan Sanders and Williams leading the way for them. Back comes Williams, missing that shot. Collis it down, one out. Playing a little quick right there. Opens up the court a little more, and that's something that they like at Kansas. It's a foul as the uh, backdoor pass toward Nash. Collis are mining out on the office depot. Halftime report, John and Digger will be there. Illinois, Michigan. And uh, Digger's going to analyze uh, who could go far in the tournament. Dick, I told you at breakfast this morning, I really think Illinois could be a sleeper much like Indiana was last year. Well, you know, I think their backcourt might be a little too young. I think at home they're very, very effective. They haven't proven yet that they can play away from home on a consistent basis. Hey, but talking about Oklahoma State, they got wins over Oklahoma, Texas, Missouri, Texas Tech. I mean, those are impressive victories. I mean, that's the bottom line is they have played against quality competition because that's life in the Big 12. I mean, this conference is just loaded from game after game. You've got to come to play. I mean, we haven't even talked about Colorado, and they're really at home. They are so tough to beat. Dick, uh, that foul on Allen was his third, so when we look at uh, foul trouble, Oklahoma State has 
trio with three apiece. Williams, McFarlane, and Allen. You know, I mentioned Colorado. They haven't lost in conference play yet at home. They are one of the underrated players in America. Michelle Morantis. This is Williams over in the corner. Giving it up into Lee now. He's been giving some good minutes off the bench recently. As Hybrid, open court, penetrations, got superb quickness, a great feel for the game, great instincts. And they got a crowd, look at this, they walked off! Everybody walked off! They had their coffee, they walked off! About time this place is rocking! The lead is eight. Blake's is one of the great environments. Collison battling for the loose ball and a jump ball. An outstanding defensive job by the senior Collison. And there's the stupid rule. I mean, I can't stand that rule. He makes a great play defensively, and then alternate possession is going to determine it goes the other way. As Heinrich in the open court, get the ball in the lane, finishing the play. I mean, I can't tolerate that rule. I mean, it's unbelievable. There's a kid being penalized. I should just said so well, Brent. A great effort defensively, and then alternate possession goes the other way. Get rid of that rule. Okay, I agree. I bet, you know, I always, <laughs> I always say that. In the NBA, you go to the jump ball, which is what that off. situation deserves. Abekwe is in number two now for Oklahoma State. the shot. Williams penetrating and one. A beautiful drive now. The leading scorer and uh, Victor Williams out of KC has really carried the load here. And a reminder next Saturday ABC Sports will have a regional college basketball doubleheader. 1.30 Eastern Cincinnati Marquette or Wake Forest NC State. Then at 3.30 Eastern the big one Texas Oklahoma or Clemson Georgia Tech. So check local listings for the games in your area. I can't wait to go to Norman Oklahoma for that game. It should be really special. T.J. Ford and Hollis Price, two of my favorite players, and they would be my backcourt if I was picking an All-American team. And that should be special. I got 36 in a row they put at home down in Norman. Miles saw an opening. Took advantage of that opening. Come out of Portland, Oregon. Spotted that opening. Dick, why did he come to Kansas rather than Oregon or Oregon State? Well, you know, he felt, well, first of all, his program is so special with the great success they've had here. And he just felt that he could step in and play right away. And he did. He stepped in immediately. was a starting point guard. He's a kid who gives him great defense, gives him quickness. He's got to work on his range as a shooter. But he's young enough that he can still develop that kind of range to make him even more effective. Oh, you mentioned Victor Williams. He is really playing well. And Roy told us that he's a solid point guard. Kid averages 15 a game, three assists a game, attacking the basket, never intimidated. I see a lot of teams that come into arenas like this or down to Cameron where they're intimidated. You don't see this club intimidated at all, Oklahoma State. Spinning the court, trying to get the high percentage shot, and to finish with the last shot. Well, Kansas, they're going to have time even if they bring the shot clock down. Yeah, it's Kansas. Not, uh, they're not synced up completely. Kansas will get one last look. Sometimes people like to play two for Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Mathematically, but. yeah. And they're taking it down. I think they're happy that they're going at halftime under double yeah, digits. Yeah, it's their style, isn't it? To, uh, but, but they, and Oklahoma State almost got it back, and they do. Allen and one. So I up with a huge play in the waning moments of the first half to make this a seven-point game. What a nice play that was. Oh, it's down to five. Down to five with that steal. And we're going to watch the play by Allen. Allen certainly has played well. Pops the ball loose. He and Williams have given him a solid performance, basically. Ball goes to the deck. A lot of hustle, a lot of scrap. Got to get on a loose ball. There it is. Seals off really well using the basket as a as a seal. Yeah, that's out. right. It was 37-32. I thought that made it 30, so let me correct my mistake. And uh, he can cut it now to four if he can make this free throw. Kansas still have time for a last shot. And he does just exactly that, Dick, in 37-33, uh, and now 6.9. What kind of a defense will uh, Eddie Sutton come up here? He's going to probably try to go a little bit three-quarter court, so they have to take some time off the clock. I'll tell you one thing. Oklahoma State's a club that has proven they can win away from home. There aren't a lot of teams that can win away from home. Especially in the Big 12 this year. Yeah, it's they're been six very and four tough. on the road this year. 
Well, coming up next, Tiger Woods. Let's see if he'll make it through the semifinals of the World Golf Championship. Accenture match play title earlier. Five and four Tiger advanced over Scott Hope. That's next right here on ABC. I guess any time you say the name Tiger Woods, it's a, it's a worthwhile. Man, look at all the bow ties. You say Tiger Woods, you think of the cash register going ding ling ding ding ling ding I mean, he just rolls it in, man. He's so talented. Hey, you and I met David Padgett, the seven-footer. that to be coming to Kansas next year from Reno. He'll be a McDonald's All-American. I'm going to do that McDonald's game. I can't wait to see LeBron James and company in Cleveland. Oh, what a big three win. for Collison at the buzzer to end the oh, half. No, Senior day. An exclamation point by Nick Collison at the end of the half. And the lead is seven at the intermission. Take a look, plenty of time on the clock. They're going to go to the Roll American. He shows his range. He said, that's for you, Mr. Musburger. Look at my range. I got an area code jump shot. What big momentum to go in at halftime. Kansas 40, Oklahoma State 23. The Office Depot halftime report with John Saunders and Digger Phelps is coming up next right here on ABC. Kansas leading Oklahoma State 40 33 only three Cowboys scored in the first half Tony Allen led the way with 14 the Melvin Sanders chipped in 11 and Victor Williams scored eight there were six Jayhawks who scored in that first half paced by seniors Nick Collison with 15 and Kirk Heinrich Dick with nine well, their senior certainly responded, but also a gallant effort by Eddie Sutton's club to get back in this game after being down by 11. I thought that big three by Collison was big. First four minutes of this half, the sequence here now will determine whether or not Oklahoma State is going to have a legit shot to win this game. Kansas with the opening possession of the second half. Kansas got big edge at the free throw line, certainly it rebounded as well. Yeah, Heinrich doesn't get many open looks. He finally gets one. He finally gets one. And you can count it. Nothing but nylon if he gets one. Oh, look at Roy. Changed his tie. Took the bow tie off. He took the bow tie off. So he wasn't that pleased with the seven-point lead at the intermission. And now he is up ten. Coaches, are they superstitious or what? He wore that bow tie as a tribute to Jimmy Fallon. McFarlane short. McFarland has really been nowhere to be found offensively at all. Didn't score in the first half. Langford attacking, and he's fouled. They really attacked the basket. Well, do they attack the basket in transition? Well, let's take a look at the Nike first half stats right now. Both teams shooting in the 30s. Take a look at the free throws there. That's 21 major. for the Jayhawks in the first half, and only seven for the Cowboys. Yeah, that's a major. There's a differential right here in the game, and it's because Kansas is a lot more aggressive offensively in attacking the basket. And now McFarland saddled with four fouls in the opening minute of the second half. Doesn't bode well, does it, right now for Oklahoma State? Well, in the uh, first half, Roy Williams honoring Jim Phelan, seven-point lead, and not that happy with the performance. And, uh, so changed his neckwear here for the uh, second half, and right away, Heinrich respects that tie with a three, and we're up to a ten. Well, he told you and I up in his office, he said, if I don't like the way we're playing at halftime, he said, I hope Jim understands. I'm changing. I'm taking my tie with he me. He said Jim would do the same thing, but I don't know about that. Thing. No, Jim has never changed. <laughs> <laughs> Jim has always left that bow tie on. I think Roy does look a little better right there than the bow tie, even though he looks good with everything. I mean, he looks like a, a senator. Does he look like Senator Williams? He's got that look, man. He's got that look. U.S. Senator. But you know what? He'd rather be where he's you sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> he loves it That's here. That's a pretty exclusive club in Washington, my friend. <laughs> he loves it here in Lawrence, I can tell you that. Well, the Cowboys find themselves behind by 30 dozen right now. Williams, one of those three scores in the first half. But Farrell, incidentally, is still on the floor, even though he's saddled with the board. He muscles in, and Collison fouled him. Well, you know, McFarland's had, as I said, some great games. Had a great game against the Sooners with 11 and 14, but he's been a little bit inconsistent all year. They expected him to be a much more consistent parent. I see he's got the hand. He can't hand check. Soon as you put a hand on him like that. See, now he'll get away with that next year when he goes to the next level, but he's not getting away, especially now there was a directive sent out 
by the head of the officials to all the conference people, and they passed it on to their coaches that we're going to call it very close to the post. As you look at a man, I say absolutely belongs in the Hall of Fame. His coaching ability and talent, what he has done, he belongs there. Now we have four scores as McFarland made the front end that time. So he's only the fourth Cowboy to put points on the board here. And the, uh, the lead for Kansas is 11. I'll tell you, the big threes by Collison at the end of the half and then Heinrich to start the half. Major. He walked. Definitely lifted his pivot foot. Graves in the three-second area. See, Graves going to have to really produce for them if their dream, and their dream, obviously, when you're in Kansas, your dream's not to get in the tournament. It's not to get in the NCAA tournament. Your dream's to cut the nets down. As Wayne Simeon, what a player. Wish him nothing but the best goal for shoulder surgery. And the Knicks doctor, uh, the Giants doctor, is going to do it. A shoulder expert, Dr. Warren. Williams steps it into the left corner, nails the three. Kansas then turns it over, and the Cowboys looking to put together a little mini run. Well, Victor Williams did a great job shooting that three. They came back and hustled on the defensive end. Yes, Dr. Warren will be doing that surgery. He's a Giants orthopedic man. They're going to have that surgery a lot of part of March. It'll take a four or six months rehabilitation. And I think we got a timeout uh, called here by Sutton's bench. So Simeon with the shoulder problem. Over on the uh, sideline and tomorrow, of course, don't miss the uh, season premiere of the IRL IndyCar Series. Michael Andretti, Kenny Breck and uh, friends and some of the new drivers over there. And Sam Hornish Jr. That's the Toyota Indy 300 tomorrow, 1 Eastern on uh, ABC. Well, Dick, there's no question that uh, no matter what happens here, really, these two teams are headed for the field of 64 and the, and the big dance. Well, there's no doubt about that, obviously. Certainly teams that are going to be tough outs for anybody. The Big 12 is going to be well represented when you talk about the NCAA tournament. Look up on top. We look right now at Kansas with a one-game lead over Oklahoma and Texas. We have that showdown next week. Kansas has got to go on a road, though. they got to add Texas Tech Monday, and then they got a tough one senior day at Missouri, and that's certainly not going to be easy. So Oklahoma has a a little bit of an edge playing at home. They got Nebraska. They're on a road today with Texas A&M. So I think the Sooners have a chance, a big chance. Stain back on the floor for the Cowboys. Couldn't get his hand on that rebound. Jay Hunt's coming it down. Here's Hunter. You know, Texas got to go on a road to play Oklahoma. He can make that shot. Back to Hyman. If he's got it wide open, he misses the medium range jumper, but steps out and knocks down the three. He's got such a soft touch, Brent. I told you earlier today why I feel he'll be effective in the NBA. His shooting ability, he's got great touch. One of the areas that seems to be lacking when you look at the NBA, consistent perimeter shooters. You don't get much time in that league, I'll tell you that. So much speed, talent. Dane couldn't come up with it, and uh, Heinrich now has tied Collison 15 apiece here in this game, so they have 30 of the 48 Jayhawk points. I'm dumping inside right now. Get Collison some looks. This is a danger play right now for Oklahoma State. The next three minutes is going to be really danger time. they got to avoid a spurt by Kansas. Just flying for the move. And he can drive. He can be slasher, quick, explosive. The crowd gets alive. A little rock chalk. Jayhawk. Maybe it was the tie. Maybe it was the tie. Put the bow tie off. And the lead now at 13. Kansas, and that's their biggest of the afternoon. Williams inside. Got the foul, but didn't get the roll. Watch uh, Langford on this drive. And kind of a running hook here, isn't it? Well, he's a left-hand player. Now a little change of direction. Goes between the legs. And then there's the hook. Yes, sir. A little hook shot. Lays it out of glass. Gets the conversion. Comes out of 10. Update going to Oklahoma next week. 36 in a row at home. Look at Eddie right now shaking Eddie's his head. Eddie's shaking his head. It, it's a struggle scoring points for him. And, I, and I'm sure that's what's uh, sort of going through his mind. Well, you know, the defensive effort of Kansas got to salute it as well. They allowed Texas A&M the other day 26% shooting. And right now, Oklahoma State's about 35%. Uh, good play. Yeah, got foul. No question. 
the uh, Big 12 tournament this year is not in Kansas City as is normally the case. They'll be down in Dallas at that uh, beautiful new arena down there. I think Texas really, really made sure that happened to get it out of Kansas City. <laughs> <laughs> Good points doing a great job with that long room program. NCAA basketball is presented by UBS Payne Weather, and it is the Kansas Jayhawks who are dominating right now, leading 57-42. Shaking up his Braves, but he's all right. The big hombre is on his feet. Took a hard shot, but he's going to be fine. Time out. So Missouri, hoping to wind up in the NCAA tournament, uh, having to battle today against Kansas State. Here the Jayhawks lead it, 57-42 over Oklahoma State, and they have uh, again seized control of the game. But as Dick Vitale has pointed out a couple of times, the Cowboys seem to have been out of it, and they battled back. Illinois with a big win at Michigan today. Bill Self, former assistant coach to Eddie Sutton, one of the rising young stars in the coaching fraternity. Doing a fantastic job with a very young backcourt. These freshman guards are tremendous. Dee Brown, you'd love him. Freshman guard that plays from out of just Illinois. State home. That was a nice play, wasn't it? And here comes Collison. Nice pass. Great feed to Heinrich, who bring it back out. The experience shows with those two fellows, the uh, four years, the numbers they put up. Heinrich penetrates, you see, he was tied up that time and uh, threw the foul. They do a great job of always looking for one another, always unselfish, the trademark of both these coaches. Dick, uh, would you say that Arizona and Kentucky are a little bit of a cut above the rest this year? Well, it looks that way. Certainly, Kentucky's been suffocating with their defense. They got a big day today with Georgia. Georgia's got all that controversy down there over the Herrick situation in terms of complaints by a former player. But the bottom line is Kentucky's been super, and I would give an edge Arizona. Oklahoma's not far behind, and Florida's a very good basketball team. And Dukes get better and better at the right time. Runner out there, and Collison couldn't tap it back up. Cowboys will come back. They got numbers here quickly. Transition, and William, great defensive play by Miles. Miles did a tremendous job. He's an outstanding defensive perimeter player. Did a great job in transition. Oh, he's thinking about it. That's a slide in the box inside. Cowboys have had trouble stopping Collison, who has now gone right handed and left handed down low, and the block established that offensive. Performance 22 points for Nick Collison here today on senior day Kansas closing in on 20 straight wins on senior day in the Allen Fieldhouse remarkable record Long block shots Collison and Eminem are on the inside total mismatch. They got nobody to handle them on that interior ah, Three ball is finally put up there uh, That'll help the Cowboys if they can come back with that and that is uh, 19 now for Allen Graves is blocked in there. Come the Cowboys. Williams with the block shot on Graves down in that three-second area. They got to get Graves going a little bit offensively. Nice pass caught. to McFarland by Allen that time. And now it shows 59-47. Always make that little run. He jumped four behind. Then he got a little spurt. He's trying to get a little one-on-one -on, -one on his side with Collison. Runner by Heinrich. I'll tell you, there's no quit in the Oklahoma State team. I'll tell you, they're not going to play for any Sutton and fold over. They're going to battle and battle and battle. Great inside position. The old-fashioned way of rebounding, blocking out, getting good position. He's a trailer in a transition game. Passed it up for a pass to the big man, and Graves couldn't finish it. Miles gets back defensively, though, and here they come again. Nick had that open shot, had that open three. Boy, Collison is all over the floor. He steps it out, goes to the low block on either side. Heinrich has to give it up. Sanders did a great job getting in his face. He thought he had an open look, but Sanders, a defensive stopper, stepped out. 